good afternoon everyone today is 10th of march in this year 2024 we are inaugurating the english services for kenyans Zambians, malawians tanzanians and the all english speaking followers or all, all english members we will beginning with the same on number one which was streamed in swahili language but if you want to subscribe to our channel please do it immediate so that you can you may get our videos anytime we stream we have more than 20 we have more than 290 sermons which have been streamed or presented in Swahili language until now. But to cut the story short, let me take this time to introduce myself. My name is Evangelist Sinda Gervas Kadebuye. I'm here with Dr. Paul who will be the main speaker in this sermon number one. But in order to proceedings today, let me hand our program to the main speaker, who is the Dr. Paul here. We will, we, who will guide us in players and proceedings for more things. Welcome so much, dear listeners. Welcome so much, Dr. Paul, for today in order to proceed. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to you. Uh, today, even though I've been uh, promising, but at least the day has come when where I have to begin streaming in English. Thank you. And before we begin, let us kneel for a word of prayer. Thank you. Let us pray. Mighty Father and God, who art in heaven, once again we come to you in order to listen to your voice. Mm -hmm. For a long time, Swahili speakers have been uh, enjoying the messages in Swahili, but now the English speakers also have been raising their concern how these sermons can be repeated in their language so that they can understand what we are presenting especially at this hour lord we ask you to give us your holy spirit triple portions so that we can be able to preach the loud cry loud cry messages and deliver the loud cry messages for we are sure that you are coming soon for we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to you. Even though I've been promising to bring this program and uh, due to tight schedule have failed, but at least today I'm beginning. Even though I can't go, I can't move consistently, but at least three sermons per week will help English speakers. And by God's grace, for the whole year, we may find that we have covered almost 200 because these sermons, I presented them in Swahili first because this channel, I had planned for, I've planned it for Swahili speakers. Because I know that English people can get access to another website and, and the channels. Yes. But they said, How, why can't you put these sermons also in English? And this is the job I decided to do. Thank you. So if you are interested, come one, come all. Prescribe to our channel. Anytime we present the videos, at least you will get we begin with the sermon number one. And please, uh, in our timetable, at least we'll be able to stream on, on let me see, Thursday afternoon. Yes. And uh, Sunday. Sunday afternoon. 
and the Tuesday afternoon, at least at three. But if time allows, we will be streaming at least four or five hours. sermons per week. The, our problem is a hectic schedule because you have to do a lot of assignments every day. Sermon number one, the deception that changed the Adventist church, and this is the warning message. Mm -hmm. My chairman, can you kind of read for me the scripture reading? Of course I can. Isaiah chapter 9 and 16, and the Jeremiah chapter 2.11. It, we read the following. For the readers of these people called them to hell, and, and they that are led of them are destroyed. That is Isaiah chapter 9 verse 16. In Jeremiah 2.11 has a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which does not prof profit. Thank you. Thank you too. Introduction. Mm -hmm. Remember, my sermons are always written to help those people who want to do the research. I should be an unfaithful watchman where I to hold my peace when I see the very foundations of our faith being torn away by those who have departed from the faith mm -hmm. and who are now adrift without an anchor. In this time, when false doctrines are being taught, we are to teach the same truth that we have taught for the past half century. Mm -hmm. I have not changed my faith one jot or one title. Mm -hmm. and this is the message of God, Ellen G. White, letter number 150, May 15, 1906. And she continues to say, For there are certain men crept in, in and I call them Jesuits or infiltrators, yes. who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. And godly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness, mm -hmm. and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Jude 1.4 Thank you. History of advanced apostles. Listen to me carefully. In Revelation chapter 12, verse 17, we read that the dragon, which is Satan, mm -hmm. was wroth with a woman, which is God's church, and they went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Now, Satan had already tried the persecution route in a bid to wipe out God's church during the dark ages. But we found that this only made the church grow. So what was he to try with the remnant church in the end times? What better way than to destroy within, using infiltration, deception, and changing the very core beliefs of God's remnant church? If Satan could succeed in deceiving God's elect according to Matthew chapter 24, verse 24, in causing them to turn from the truth, then he could triumph. Yes. In the darker ages, if you are seen with the Bible, you would be burned to death. Mm -hmm. But now he's printing and dispute, distributing them like beans. And then you think he has become a Christian. He is still the Antichrist who has the same intention to destroy many souls. And by infiltrating the remnant church, he has succeeded to a large extent in changing the truths of God. 
We think we have the shepherds, but they are wolves, anointed by Satan, mm -hmm. mediators of okay. the devil, mm -hmm. to, send, to send many souls to hell. Yes. The Alpha of heresies had already entered our church in the days of Ellen White through Dr. John Harvey Kellogg. Mm -hmm. But the omega of heresies was to follow. Mm -hmm. And the sister White warned that it would be of a most startling nature. She says, be not deceived. Mm -hmm. Men will depart from the faith, giving heed to, sedu to seducing spirits and uh, doctrines of devils. We have now before us the alpha of this danger. The omega will be of a most startling nature. Yes. Ellen White, Ellen G. White, testimonies for the church containing letters to physicians and ministers, instruction to Seventh day Adventists, July 24, 1904, paragraph 16. She continues. Living temple contains the alpha of these theories. I knew that the omega would fall in a little while, and I trembled for our people. Mm -hmm. NG White testimonies for the church containing letters to physicians and the minister's instruction to Seventh day Adventist, paragraph 53. She continues I tell you now that when I am ready to rest, Great changes will take place. I want the people to know that I want them mm -hmm. fully before my death. Ellen G. White, manuscript number one, February 24, 1915. So this heresy, which was to come into our lands, was clearly to be of a most serious nature, which could do, which causes Sister White to tremble for the people of our church. She warned of changes that were to take place in our church after she died. Mm -hmm. Changes that would change the very religion of the Seventh-day Adventist denomination. Here I'm going to read her prophecy. She says, the enemy of souls has sought to bring in the supposition that a great reformation was to take place among Seventh-day Adventists, and that this reformation would consist in giving up the doctrines which stand as the pillars of our faith, mm -hmm. and engaging in a process of reorganization, where this reformation to take place what would result? Mm -hmm. she, she answers herself. The principles of truth that God in his wisdom has given to the remnant church would be discarded. Our religion would be changed. The fundamental principles that have sustained the work for the last 50 years would be accounted as error. A new organization would be established. Books of a new order would be written. Mm -hmm. A system of intellectual philosophy would be introduced. Yes. Ellen G. White, testimony for the church containing letters to physicians, the minister's instruction to Seventh-day Adventists, paragraph 53. And then she continues. We cannot now step off the foundation that God has established. And I'm here to fight for the foundation. Adventists use this quotation to mislead people. But I want to tell you, we have to stand, to stay mm -hmm. in the foundation which was delivered to the pioneers. We cannot now enter into any new organization mm -hmm. for this would mean apostasy from the truth. Yes. Eden G. White, Manuscript Releases, Volume 20, page 1, 51. This is the war which Satan was to bring to God's end time church. 
a war much greater than using destroying weapons. Mm -hmm. It would be a war which would seek to remove the very foundation of our faith and cause the Seventh day Adventist Church to clasp hands with Babylon. Mm -hmm. And what could be more shocking or startling than to deceive the church into worshipping a false god? Specifically, the false trinity god of Babylon. Yes. Sunday god. Mm -hmm. Our church was built upon the very biblical foundation, eh, upon the very biblical foundation of truth of the one true God, the Father, and His Son, Jesus Christ, who was literally begotten of the Father sometime in the eternity past as a true Son. Yes. With the Holy Spirit being the Father's only divine spirit, which he has given to his son, Jesus. And Ellen White warned our church not to enter into controversy over the beliefs about God which our pioneers held. Mm -hmm. She says, I knew that the Omega would follow in a little while. Yes. And I trembled for our people. I knew that I must warn our brethren and the sisters not to enter into controversy over the presence and the personality of God. Yes. The, spirituality, the, spiritual, the spiritualistic theories regarding the personality of God followed to their logical conclusion, sweep away the whole Christian economy, for instance, the Trinity. Mm. It sweeps away the whole Christian economy. economy. You, yes. have that, you have that Trinity, God is no longer there. Yes. Ellen G. White testimonies for the church contain letters to physicians and ministers instruction to Seventh-day Adventists, paragraph 53 to 54. She continues, I, I entreat everyone to be clear and firm regarding the certain truths that we have heard and received and advocated. The statements of God's word are plain. Plant your feet firmly on the platform of eternal truth, rejecting every phase of error, even though it be covered with a semblance of reality which denies the personality of God and of Christ. Yes. Ellen G. White, Review and Herald, August 31, 1905, paragraph 11. Sadly, the church did not listen to this counsel and entered into controversy over the personality of God and his son, seeking to sweep away the foundation of our church and bring the Trinity God of Rome into our church. Mm -hmm. Our church was built upon the very biblical foundational yes. truth of the one true God, the Father, and His Son, Jesus Christ, yes. who was literally begotten of the Father sometime in eternity past as a true Son, with the Holy Spirit being the Father's only divine Spirit, mm -hmm. which He has given to His Son, Jesus. And Ellen White warned our church not to enter into controversy over the beliefs about God which our pioneers held. Yes. Hmm? Chairman, can you read for me that quotation? Of course, eh? I can read, you read it. it. Step by step. Eh? Step by okay. step. Let me proceed. Okay. I knew that the Omega would fall in a little while. In a little while. In a little while. Mm -hmm. And I trembled for for our peoples. Uh -huh. I knew that I must warn our brethren and sisters not to enter into controversy over the presence over the presence and the personality of God. Okay. The sp spiritualistic theo theories regarding the personality of God followed followed it to the. Uh, logical conclusion uh -huh. sweep away the whole the whole Christian economy. The whole Christian economy. Yes, that mm -hmm. is Ellen G. White testimonies for the church containing the letter to physicians letters. letters to physicians and ministers 
instruction to Seventh Day Adventist, paragraph fifty-three to fifty-four. Okay, thank you. She continues. I entreat everyone to be clear and firm regarding the certain truths that we have heard and received and advocated. Mm. The statements of God's word are plain. Yes. Plant your feet firmly on the platform of mm. eternal truth. Reject every phase of error, even though it be covered with the a semblance of reality yes. which denies the personality of God and of Christ. Ellen G. White, Vivian the Herald, August 31, 1905, paragraph 11. Sadly, the church did not listen to this counsel mm. and they entered into controversy over the personality of God and His Son, seeking to sweep away the foundation of our church and bring the Trinity God of Rome into our church. Yes. Now, here enters Dr. Leroy Edwin Froome, Froome mm. a Jesuit infiltrator. We will come to know it later. There was a movement right after the death of Ellen White and our pioneers mm. to adopt the Trinitarianism into our church. Yes. And although there were a number of leaders involved in this movement, one of the main characters was the man Dr. Leroy Edwin Froome. Froome. Yes. Yeah. Big heads, mm -hmm. master of vocabularies. Mm -hmm. I think you understand me, those who are following me in Swahili sermons. Of course. Dr. Edwin Leroy Froome, I tell you, all the Jesuits, most of the Jesuits are big heads. They just, this Jesuit movement, oh, Jesuit. Uh, these Jesuits, they don't just pick people. They pick people with the abilities, yes. talented people. Mm -hmm. Like Dr. Edwin Leroy Flume, who changed the whole Adventist church. Yes. You see, the Seventh-day Adventist church was seen as a cut mm -hmm. by the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And so Leroy Edwin Flume and others, instead of, po of putting forth the straight truth to convince the world that we are not a cut, mm. they changed the very foundational pillar of our church, the God we worship, to bring the Seventh-day Adventist Church more in line with the rest of the world. Yes. And what is the foundational teaching which the churches of Babylon unite on? The Trinity God. Mm. Just take a look at the Flume's confession in his book, Movement of Destiny. Can you read his confession? Yes, I can read it. Okay, read it. Read it aloud so that even the English speakers can know where we made a mistake. Okay. He said that. May I have... May, may I hear? I, he said that. May I hear make a frank personal confessions when he back between 1926 and 1928, I was, asked, I was asked by our leaders to give a series of studying on the Holy Spirit. He proceeding say that, I found that aside, aside from from priceless from priceless leads found in the spirit of prophets there was pra practically practically nothing in our in our literature setting forth a sound biblical exposition in this Trewoti. Tremendous field of study. Okay, tremendous field of study. Mm -hmm. There were no previous pathfinding books on the questions in our literature. Mm -hmm. That is Leroy from Movement of Destiny, page number 322. Thank you. Mm. She, he continues, it is not safe, energy what says, mm. it is not safe to catch the spirit from another. Yes. We want the Holy Spirit, which is Jesus Christ. Thank you. Energy what, letter 66, April 10, 1894, paragraph 17 and 18. Yes. 
she continued to say, they have one God and one Savior, Savior. Yes. and one Spirit. Spirit. Even the Spirit of Christ is to bring unity into the, their things. Yes. Why didn't she say that Trinity? That is Ellen G. White, Testimonies for the Church, Volume 9, page 189. Yes. So why did Flum say the above? Mm -hmm. Because none of our pioneers were Trinitarians. In fact, let me tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. All pioneers of the SDA church came from the church called the Christian Connection. Yes. Christian Connection during the Advent movement was the only denomination which discarded or rejected the Trinity. Meaning to say, God in his wisdom, so that if he can continue with this reformation work, he picked James White, who was from the Christian Connection, mm -hmm. Joseph Bates from the Christian Connection. Those were the pillars who rejected completely the Trinity doctrine. Yes. Uh, and it was information supporting the Trinity, which Froome was looking for. Mm -hmm. He wanted, he, he, his, his intention was to smuggle the Trinity from Babylon to the SD church, yes. which stood as the remnant church because they refused the Trinity doctrine. And the fact that he said there were priceless leads in Ellen White's writings shows that she also did not believe in the Trinity. Mm -hmm. Go and check it. Ellen G. White, you will never see what she has written on the Trinity. Mm -hmm. But she endorsed the fellow pioneers for rejecting the Trinity. But you can't find anything on the Trinity. Yes. But what does Froom do eh? after finding that there is no Trinity in the stage? What does he do? He chooses one or two texts out of context. Yes. And the deceitfully uses them to make the people believe that Sister White did believe in the Trinity mm -hmm. when she didn't. Mm -hmm. And Ellen White warned about her words being used deceitfully in Kellogg's book. Speaking of Dr. Paulson, who was becoming confused by Kellogg's teaching, she said, Let Dr. Paulson take it that he be not deceived. He may say, Sister White's own words are repeated in Dr. Kellogg's teachings. True, but misinterpreted and misconstrued. Ellen G. White, letter 271B, 1903. Don't the various Sunday keeping churches have priceless reads in scripture to support their false Sunday Sabbath teaching? the immortal soul teaching and others, but those so-called priceless leads are taken out of context and wrongly interpreted. So what does Flum admit to turning to? Because there wasn't any hard evidence in Ellen White's writing to support his case. Leroy says, I was compelled to search out a score of valuable books written by many outside our faith mm -hmm. where salvation comes from Jerusalem, yes. isn't it? Yes. You, from why did you go to Babylon? Mm -hmm. And our leaders were asleep. Let us proceed. For initial clues and suggestions, having this, I went on from there. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Big heads. Yes. Ma eh, manipulators. Eh? Masters of vocabulary. Mm -hmm. He says, but they were decidedly El helps picking everything from Babylon. Mm -hmm. And the scores, if not hundreds, could confirm the same sobering conviction that some of these other men frequently had a deeper insight into the spiritual things of God than many of our own men had on the Holy Spirit and the triumphant life. It was still a largely obscure theme. Leroy Fru, Movement of Destiny, page 322. So what does Flume do? 
he goes to the menu of Babylon mm -hmm. to study that trinity because our church pioneers strongly rejected it and they rightly so because it is completely unbiblical. Yes. And I'm not just talking about the Roman Catholic version. SDS, you have what we call tritheism, but the trinity, the trinity is of the devil, bloodless sacrifice. Mm. All versions of the trinity teaching are false and very dangerous. Bloodless sacrifice. Mm. The, sacri the, the sacrifice of Cain. So where do you go with your trinity, regardless of Adventist version? But if room doesn't stop there, he even has the audacity to say that the men of Babylon had a deeper insight into the spiritual things of God than many of our pioneers. Is he not a devil? That is devil. Uh, uh, if I call him a Jesuit, will you reject me? No, that is true. What a wicked thing to say. Our pioneers, just as Sister White confirmed, searched for truth as for hidden treasure and they moved step by step mm. under the influence of the Spirit of God. Mm. Adam G. White has been the head of May 25, 1905. Yes. Due to the fact that nothing in the writings of our pioneers matched up to his agenda, Room had to make it appear that our pioneers were in error and that the true awakening had now begun after the death of our pioneers. Yes. Surely the hour has now come, as Frum says, to forget the past. You see, mm -hmm. masters of vocabularies, mm -hmm. to forget the past and its variances, to place together and to move forward unitedly. Movement of Destiny, page 375. Can you see how clever this Jesuit is? That is a dialect sound of death. I always say, masters mm -hmm. of vocabularies. He continues. Movement of Destiny, page 325. Thank God that time of reticency mm -hmm. and the misunderstanding has passed. Thank God, final, the fa thank God that Final awakening is defini definitely underway. He says the final awakening, awakening of the devil. Mm -hmm. That is the movement of destiny, page 322. Froome was certainly not alone in D.C. Do you think he was alone? He had yeah. supporters. Yes. In fact, the then president of the General Conference, A.G. Daniels, mm -hmm. supported him. You see? Supported, you see, supported from in bringing in this new Trinitarian view of God into the church. You see, yes. Daniel supported mm -hmm. from states back in the spring of 1930, Arthur G. Daniels, for more than 20 years, eh, I told you those Swahili speakers that he stayed in power for more than he, 20 years. Yes. Instead of the constitution of one year, they manipulated five years so that he can be another God there. Mm -hmm. For more than 20 years, the president of our general conference told me he believed that at a later time, mm -hmm. I should undertake a thorough survey of the entire plan of redemption. That is, its principles, provisions, and the divine personalities. When I say divine personalities, Three persons. Yes. But he said it is to be later, mm -hmm. not yet, mm -hmm. not yet possible. It would be necessary to wait until certain individuals had dropped out of action. That means they are dead mm -hmm. because those old timers knew what the Adventists believed. So he said, just waiting. Mm -hmm. When they are dead, then we carry on with the, our apostasy. Yes. Before the needed portrayal could wisely be brought forth. Movement of Destiny, page 17. Those certain individuals who needed to drop out of action or die before properly implementing this plan were probably influential family members of the original pioneers. Yes. Those who are with LNG White, let them die first. 
and the throne admitted to be palmed by the old stalwarts of the church for entering into controversy over the personality of God and the Holy Spirit. Because they knew that what the throne was doing would sweep away the Christian economy, just as Ellen White stated. Mm -hmm. This is what she stated. May I state that in my book, the coming, the coming of the Comforter was the result of a series of studies that I gave in 1927 to 28 to ministerial institutes throughout North America. You cannot imagine how I was pawned by some of the old timers because I pressed on the personality of the Holy Spirit as the third person of the Godhead. Some many denied that, still deny it. But the book has come to be generally accepted as a standard. That of, Le of Leroy Froom to Otto H. Christensen, October 27, 1960. So what was the next step? Mm -hmm. The following quote should cause every true Seventh-day Adventist to shudder. Let me read it. The next logical and the inevitable step in the implementing of our unified fundamental beliefs involved the revision of certain standard works so as to eliminate statements that taught and thus perpetuated Iranian views on the Godhead. You see, mm -hmm. what the pioneers believed to be the truth on the Godhead he is calling it erroneous views mm -hmm. and bringing in Trinitarianism. Of Such sentiments were now sharply at variance, uh, at the opposite, with the uh, accepted fundamental beliefs set forth in the church manual. Movement of Destiny, page 4, 22. The removal of the last standing vestige of Arianism in our standard literature was accomplished through the deletion from the classic Daniel and the Revelation mm -hmm. by Uriah Smith in 1944. Can you read that in the Movement of Destiny, page 465? Just a quick note on the term Arianism used before. That is a tag given to anyone who is now non-Tinitarian, even if they tell me as alien. They think I don't believe in the Holy Spirit, but I believe. After all, who knows? I guess alien was right during that time because we don't have any document written. Every document that he presented was burnt to the stake by the Catholic Church. Yes. So how can we say you are taking the alien side while we don't know what he said? In fact, I know he defended the truth. But the Catholic, who knows the history? Catholics, they know where they have buried the truth. Just like the three holy tribes who are wiped out by the Papas in Day 7. For instance, why did the three horns, why were they wiped? Because they didn't follow the Catholic doctrine of the Trinity. Mm -hmm. So he went and they deleted it. Yes. So that to, eh, to edit the standard books so that they can look eh, just like other churches which follow the Trinity doctrine. They too were non-Trinitarians. You see, those three horns were, were non-Trinitarians. But the purpose has made it look like aliens believed Christ was a created being. And this is completely fabricated just to make non-Trinitarians look like they are in error. They see me as in error. They don't know that me, I see them that they are in error. Of we do not believe Christ was created. I don't believe that Christ was created because Father, Son, those are co-evo. Co-evo means the creators. They are not created. Of course. We believe he was begotten just as the Bible states. Amen. Let me quote from Dr. Benjamin G. Willingson, Truth Triumphant, page 134. He says, 
whether the teachings of alias were such as us, usually represented to us or not, who can say? Philippus Rimboki doubts that alias himself ever heard that Christ was created instead of being begotten because he's not here and his books were burnt. So Catholics come and say alias believe that he believes that he Jesus was created. Can you trust a Roman Catholic? No. <laughs> Never. Our pioneers believed in the true biblical Godhead of Father and the Son. With Jesus being the little Son of God, the, the Father. Begotten sometime in eternity past, mm -hmm. but now this was against the new view of God set forth by Flum and Co. Workers uh, or and his company. So they went about changing the writings of our pioneers to fit in with a new belief. So just as Ellen White warned, there would be a giving up of the doctrines which stand as the pillars of our faith. Our religion would be changed. Mm -hmm. The work of the pioneers would be counted as error. Mm -hmm. And the books of a new order would be written. Ellen White, Battle Creek Letters, page 81. Meaning to say, these smart guys, smart people who are at the union or division or general conference, and here they are Jesuit infiltrators. They keep on dating. Just like nowadays, you find many Bibles here, especially in Swahili. There are so many versions. But who, who told you they are all true? In dark ages, he was killing or oh, murdering the people who had the Bibles in their hands. But now he's printing them in different versions and he brings them to you. You think he has become a Christian. He's not a Christian. Of he's course. a devil incarnate. He has edited them. Eh? Many Catholic versions, Jerusalem Bible, New International Version, Revised Standard Version, New King James Version, those are Catholic editions. Stand with King James Version. version. Even you. though there are some problems, but very few. Not with these other versions. You can check that in, uh, you can check when we come to the ceremony. Only changing our, uh, changing the Bible, mm -hmm. eh, the, 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 the verses we, which have changed, of you course. will wonder because you will discover that you have been believing what you are not supposed to believe. Mm -hmm. And you think there is that Trinity doctrine, whereas it is not there. And what was the primary purpose of what little if room, Daniels and others did in bring that Trinity God teaching into the Adventist church. What were they, their purpose? I quote, but the charges and the attacks have persisted. That is the little of room and his pharaohs. Some continue to gather up quotations from some of our earlier literature long since out of date and printing. Mm -hmm. And we feel that we should not be identified with or oh, stigmatized for certain limited and the faulty concepts held by some, particularly in our formative years. We are one with, you see here, yes, eh? see. we are one with our fellow Christians. Mm. They think uh, Catholics, Baptists, they say we are one. Me, one with you. No. They say we are one with our fellow Christians of the denominational groups in the great fundamentals of the faith once delivered to the, to the saints. Questions and Doctrine, page 31 to 32. Can you see this master of vocabulary? I see. If you never went to school, you think he's right, but you. I will always try to go with such people and see where they end. He wants to lose you in the. Mm -hmm. In easy ideology, in easy ideas, so that you may live the true way. He says, Unity is grounded in the being of God who is a Trinity. Mm -hmm. You see? Unity is grounded in the being. Of course, though, if you want to, to unite, they want you to have that Trinity doctrine, okay. otherwise, they cannot accept you. Okay. 
a unity in Trinity. You see, a unity in Trinity. Trinity. Seventh day Adventists support Christian unity as they join the triune God. Ganon, Diopu, why Adventists participate in UN and the Ecumenical meetings October 9, 2015. You see, is, is, is Ganon, Diopu not, not a Jesuit? Is he an Adventist? No. If you're an Adventist, why did you go to Vatican and you shake hands with the, the Pope? Unity with the Babylon was the primary purpose from the beginning. Already have mercy on us. Mm. The result, Seventh day Adventist Church today. What? What are the results? Eh? After smuggling the Trinity doctrine into our faith, what is the result? Today our church is full, full of confusion, and the confusion will keep on coming until the destruction. Thanks to Satan working through men like Roy Froome and the co workers, and the people are not studying for themselves. I warn you people, go study yourself. Even stop going to the SDA church. Mm -hmm. Just read your Bible at home. Mm -hmm. Because they have spoiled everything. Mm -hmm. Just look at the following from the official Seventh-day Adventist Church website concerning God. Look at you. This, this is the website. Mm -hmm. eh? Immortal, all-powerful, and all-loving God is a relationship of a father, Son and the Holy Spirit, the only being worthy of our worship. Eh? These are three gods okay. Father, Son, and the Holy. A relationship. Relationship. What? This is how it is today. There is one God, you see, and that is this one God is three co eternal beings who work together in unity the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We are going to study in deep this Trinity doctrine so that you may know. I can't tell you about the Godhead unless I teach you that Trinity is evil. No mm -hmm. when I was teaching at the university, I used to tell people, you are asking me such a question. I can't just answer you. I have to tell you all oh, the rights first, then I tell you the truth. Okay. This one you can get from this uh, uh, website, HTTPS. Uh, uh, do, 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 uh, Coroni uh, hash hash www dot end times profess dot org hash sj trinity pdf. Did you catch that? Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the only being worthy of worship. Now, the three. Now you say the only being. And Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, are they not three beings? Uh, three then you say, the beings. only being worthy of worship. How can you say that is, that is three in one, one in it? This is the utter confusion, frenzy. Mm -hmm. And this is the three in one, Trinity God of Rome, mm -hmm. which from and the co-workers brought into our church. Of and even our theologians today are confirming that the Seventh-day Adventist Church is in agreement with the Rome concerning God. Mm -hmm. Just look at the following quote from George W. Reddy in a document which he prepared for dialogue with the Roman Catholic representatives. That is right. Dialogue, a code word for ecumenism with the Roman Catholic Church. Look at what the document states. You see these Catholics, see? I see, I see. No matter Catholics, see? all Catholics, remember, a man doesn't have a wife. Mm. He spends many years in school. Of course. And you, you have a wife always busy. Can you stand and act with him? No. So they say, let us dialogue. Dialogue. Can I dialogue with the devil? No. You bring to me any Roman Catholic theologian to me, that is the devil incarnate. There is nothing good in him. If he wants to be good, let him stay from there, then accept what I believe. Otherwise, I can't get into dialogue. You see, form 1 to form 4, mm -hmm. form 5, form 6, philosophy 7 years, normally, for instance, uh, Pope John Paul II had three doctor doctorates. Okay. Eh? PhD in theology, mm. PhD in phen 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 phenomenology, mm. PhD in psychology. Can such a person who spends many years in a theological seminary 
city with the awani eh? our sds they normally in sda churches when we go there we, we just offer degrees because you are the son of the pastor mm -hmm. you can you compare with this thinker and this man who doesn't read the books no. and then they cheat you dialogue dialogue with the catholic do you know catholic theologians highly educated people for them they believe that he who has the education he holds the future yes. and you just go there thinking because you have a master just one to two years eh? i have master hey, sometimes you okay i'm a doctor doctor so and so and so so that you can come into our church and pretend that you are mr so and so but when you go to the catholic theologians you are nothing mm -hmm. that degree without a toy hey, they, ah, my dear there are some people i, I used to say with them in the theolo theological seminary mm -hmm. hey, hey what can i do he doesn't know even how to write a dissertation. Ah. So now he comes, he, you help him, then he comes. Those people produce it. They tell you produce it, even for two days, we give you a doctorate. But with us, shortcut. Listen carefully. Nature of God, a reading of the above statements will show that with respect to their doctrine of God, Seventh day Adventists are in harmony with the great credo statements of Christendom, including the Apostles' Creed, Nicaea AD 325, and the additional definition of faith concerning the Holy Spirit as reached in Constantinople in AD 381. That is George W. Reddy, a brief review of the history and doctrine of the SDA Church, prepared for the dialogue with the representatives of the Roman Catholic Church. Listen to me carefully. I came from the Roman Catholic Church, so I know it in and out. There is no way you can tell me, come and dialogue with the, the Catholics. In fact, if they discover that, you know they murder you. Because that is their philosophy. If you murder mm -hmm. eh, a heretic, mm -hmm. you will be rewarded in heaven. Our pioneers won't be against accepting such teachings that were reached in Nicaea 325 AD concerning God. Let us read from J. N. Andrews, March 6, 1855. That is the review and herald, volume 6, number 24, page 185, where it says, The doctrine of the Trinity, which was established in the church by the Council of Nicaea, AD 325. This doctrine destroys the personality of God and His Son Jesus Christ our Lord. The infamous measures by which it was enforced upon the church, which appear upon the pages of ecclesiastical history, might well cause every believer in that doctrine to blush. Can you see? Any, any person who, who believes in, he, uh, in he, uh, the Trinity doctrine, for me, I count he, he is hell bound. Mm -hmm. He cannot, he cannot stand even, he, he cannot stand for any temptation because God, that, remember, Trinity doctrine is the anti, the, that is the uh, anti-Trinitarian doctrine. Eh? That is the, uh, we can say it means you are against Jesus. Mm -hmm. How can you get power no. to withstand the temptations? So the leaders described the Trinity as one being, one being, being up until a year or so ago, and then he changed it to three beings. You see, these people, you know, these theologians, their doctrines, they keep on changing as if God changes. Do you see the utter confusion of this? They can't even make their mind up as to what they are worshipping. Take even, uh, even the Pope himself. Put him here. Tell us what is the Trinity. Confusion. Eh? Do you understand me? We understand you. We can, in, short, in short, we can say, unknown God. And that is the result of following wrong rather than God's word. Jude says, 
Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was need for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Yes. The exhortation to contend for the faith delivered to the saint is to us alone. And it is very important for us to know what for and how to contend. Yes. You understand me? 44, and how to contend. Yes. You kill me, but I cannot give up in my faith. Okay. In the fourth verse, he gives us the reason why we should contend for the faith. A particular faith. Not every faith is faith, but a particular a faith. faith. For there are certain men or certain class who deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. I call them Antichrist. Antichrist doctrine. Bloodless sacrifice. Mm. The way spiritualizers have disposed of or denied the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ is first using the old unscriptural Trinitarian creed. That is... Jesus Christ is the eternal God, though they have no one passage to support it. While we have plain scriptural testimony in abundance that he is the son of the eternal God. James White, January 24, 1846, the day star. Our current church leaders even admit to the fact that the Trinity is simply assumed from the Bible. No, assumed. Just assumption. Do we go in heaven by assumption? No. They say, why? This is what these leaders say. I'm quoting. While no single scriptural, scriptural passage states formally the doctrine of the Trinity. It is assumed mm -hmm. as a fact by Bible writers. It is assumed. Mm -hmm. Show me from the Bible. Only true. by faith. You see? Mm -hmm. You see how crazy they are? Mm -hmm. Only by faith can we accept the existence of the Trinity. Mm -hmm. Adventist Review, July 1981. Special issue on the Bible doctrines. Mm -hmm. Deserts. The Seventh-day Adventist Church today. Mm -hmm. Assumed, Sunday keeping, assumed, and it is coming. The immortal soul teaching is assumed, and the many other teaching of Babylon are assumed. Sadly, the Seventh-day Adventist Church has now been deceived into basing their beliefs on the assumption rather than a thus say the Lord. Mm. How sad. The message of the Lord, Ellen G. White, says in a testimony for the church, volume 5, page 174, thousands have a false conception of God and his attributes. They are as very serving a false God as you are the servants of Bali. Are we worshipping the true God as he is revealed in his word? In Christ, in nature, or are we adoring some philosophical idol enshrined in his place. God is a God of truth. The religion of Seventh-day Adventist Church has been changed since the days of Ellen White and our pioneers. Yes. Great deceptions have taken place. Wolves have come into our midst and deceived, if possible, the very erecting. And what do the leaders of the SDA Church say today? They say that Ellen White changed her belief regarding God. Mm. But, we, but we will let Sister White answer that charge herself. Yes. Eh? Are you with me? Yes, we are together. Here she says, let none seek to tear away the foundations of our faith, mm. the foundations that were laid at the beginning of our week, by prayerful study of the word and by revelation. Yes. Upon these foundations, we have been building for the last 50 years. Mm. Many may suppose that they have found a new way and that they can lay a stronger foundation than that which has been laid. But this is a great deception. Other foundation can no man lay than that which has been laid. Ellen White, Review and Herald, March 3, 1904. 
4. She continued to say, That which I have written is what the Lord has bidden me write. I have not been instructed to change that which I have sent out. The straight line of truth presented to me when I was but a girl is just as clearly present to me now. Amen. Are you with me, my friends? Yes, you are. The straight that. line, mm. eh? meaning to say the line of truth. demarcation, mm. the straight line of truth mm. presented to me when I was but a girl is still as clearly presented to me now. Yes. Meaning to say, no change, but yes. now these theologians are coming with their confusion. Erin G. Whitey, Review and Herald, January 26, 1905. She continues. Here, she is defending herself against this, yeah, I say, I call them modern pastors, mm -hmm. modern theologians. She says, we want solid pillars for the building. Mm -hmm. Not one pin is to be removed from that which the Lord has established. Full stop. Erin mm -hmm. Whitey, Review and Herald, May 25, 1905. I am instructed to say that those who would tear down the foundation that God has laid are not to be accepted as the teachers and the leaders of, of his people. Erin G. White, Testimonies for the Church, containing messages of warning and instruction to Seventh-day Adventists, October 1903, page 41. Page 41. Can you hear that? Yes, sure. Don't even invite these Trinitarians. These are devil incarnates. You know, let me tell you, can you, can, can, can you cooperate with the devil? No. Eh? no. My friend, can you cooperate with the devil? No. Any Trinitarian eh? is demon possessed. So how can you cooperate with him? Try to find out the way how you can win him to come to the truth. Because whether he may be the Pope or the President of the General Conference, those are demon possessed. They don't know what they are doing. She continued to say, I should be an unfaithful watchman where I to hold my peace mm -hmm. when I see the very foundations of our faith being torn away by those who have departed from the faith and who are now adrift without an anchor. In this time, when, uh, when false doctrines are being taught, we are to teach the same truth that we have taught for the past half century. Mm -hmm. I have not changed my faith mm -hmm. one duty or one title. Mm -hmm. Erin G. White, later 150 May 15, 1906. No wonder there is little power in the Adventist Church today. Mm -hmm. Why? These, I call them Catholics conducting the mercy on Saturday and even the Sabbath. They don't know it because Sabbath match together with the sanctuary doctrine for the church containing letters to physicians and ministers instruction to seventh day adventist paragraph 53 let me now come to the conclusions where the holy trinity came from is where baptism in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost came from mm -hmm. and it is also where sunday worship and all babylonian you see and all babylonian Traditions, mm -hmm. because the Catholics have just the traditions; they don't have any biblical doctrine. Of course, came from so that the people may worship Satan and the Pope. Yeah, of course, come out of Babylon, my people, my brother and sister, who is listening to me, who is viewing me. Take a decision right now. And for those who are ready, come out of this Babylonian circle. Mm. Means it, meaning to say, discard that trinity, plus even baptism in the name of the Father. And the, that is from Nicaea, mm. eh? who, who, who was the chairman of that council of Nicaea. Constantine. And the people today are lost and they don't know that they are lost. You know, there is a danger, mm. especially in these days, a person who is lost, he doesn't know that he is lost. So when he sees people looking for those who are lost, he also accompanies them to look for those who are lost. And he doesn't. So people, you know, they are even in our church. Mm. He believes in the Trinity. Mm. Let us go to win souls. He is with us. And he doesn't know that he is lost. So come out of her, my people. That 
If you are baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, the, the Holy Ghost, my dear, you are cheated as we continue with the understanding me. Otherwise, you cannot comprehend when I begin preaching on the everlasting covenant because the time has to come where you have to cease from sinning. Amen. So you must be baptized in the name of Jesus so that you may receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Decide now. You know, when I ask people, so you are baptized, what is your gift? Eh? Have you ever asked such people? Hey, you, Mr. Pastor, you went to the, to the theological seminar. What is your gift? He can't tell you why. He went to the theological seminar to think that he would be a pastor, but he's not a pastor. He's a devil incarnate, mediator of the devil, because he doesn't know even his gift. That is why they come to fight for posts. Aaron G. White says, a nation's sin and a nation's ruin were due to religious leaders. Eh? I call them uh, religious elite, kayafas, hunting for bread. Mm -hmm. They have nothing to do with your salvation. If you are not careful, they are looking for bread and the money. So a nation's sin and then a nation's ruin were due to the religious leaders. Christ the object lessons, page 304 and 305. Come out of Babylon, my people. Stop relying on pastors and evangelists because they are looking for profit. Most of them are grafts of Rome to continue teaching the deceptions of purpose so that they may lose many. Mm -hmm. Eh? Mm -hmm. That they are only their employment. Mm -hmm. Ted Wilson to say, Till it is our God, for him is okay because he is under employment of Rome. Of course. Save your soul, my friend. Mm -hmm. Read the scriptures of the Bible and the spirit of prophecy. And the Holy Spirit will be your teacher. Mm -hmm. that, that's why I tell people, stay at home. Read the Bible alone. The time will come where the Lord will help you. But if you are going to those congregations, you will be lost forever. Make a decision now and don't wait for tomorrow. The message of the Lord says, while the Protestant world is by her attitude making concessions to Rome, that has allowed us to comprehend the situation and view the contest before us in its true bearings. Let the watchmen now lift up their voice and give the message which is the present truth for this time. Let us show the people where we are in prophetic history and they seek to arouse the spirit of true Protestantism, awakening the way to be a sense of the value Awaking the word to a sense of the value of the privileges of religious liberty so long enjoyed. Erin G. White, Testimonies for the Church, Volume 5, page 716. And Erin G. White warns us like this to stand in defense of truth and righteousness when the majority forsake us. To fight the battles of the Lord when champions are few. This will be our test. But now let me say, this is the, our test now, especially yes. when things are confused the world over. Yes. Testimonies for the church, volume 5, page 136. Even now, champions are few. Mm -hmm. eh? Here is a new book with a title. Eh? You see, this is in Kiswahili, but uh, there is also another English version called The Trinitarian Paradigm in Adventism. And it is five shillings. After the Adventists adopted the Trinity doctrine, what has transpired? And this book tells you everything. The book describes the history of the Adventist church and the faith they had while the prophet Sierra G. White was among them more than 50 years. And how after her death, the church she left has changed into Catholics who celebrate Mass on a Saturday because the leaders, the leaders, I say the ring leaders, eh, the leaders decided from the beginning to eat on the same table with the Satan. Mm -hmm. 
or the facts of apostasy are explained by reference or evidences and you will read it yourself instead of waiting for the story. Read this book to decide. Besides, you can visit our website that is www.reformdemnance.org to download ample evidences of how the SDA church has gone astray and how to receive the letter lane and give the loud cry of the angel of Revelation 18. For books, booklets, and tracts, call me any time and I will deliver them to you on the following phones. 0758, in fact, it is on the screen. Of course. 438, 738, 0789, 164, 774, and 0717, 064, 774. This is the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Make his path straight because he is surely coming. You know me, no Adventist. True teachings were given to you, and God appointed your prophets who spoke and gave all truths. Why have you turned to worship that Italian God? God says, how is the faithful city, that is SDA, become a harlot? It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. Thy princes, meaning to say SDA leaders and the pastors, are rebellious and the companion, companions of thieves. Do you know the thieves? I know. Roman Catholics, according to Uriah Smith, okay. everyone loves the gifts and followeth after rewards. The they judge not the fatherless, neither doth the cause of the widow come unto them. His watchmen are blind, they are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way. Everyone for his gain from his quarter. Isaiah chapter, uh, Isaiah chapter 1. Verse 21 and 23, 23, chapter 56, verse 10 to 12. You are proud of your expensive church buildings. Fine. However, God is asking. You see, mm -hmm. Jeremiah 7, 9, 10. Will you steal and kill mm -hmm. and commit adultery mm -hmm. and swear falsely and burn incense to Baal, Trinity doctrine, and the follow other gods that you did not know, then you will come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, we are healed, that you may do all these abominations. God only wants obedience to his law. Yes. Full stop. Mm -hmm. Depend of your sins, and only then will God turn away his anger. Otherwise, evil is ahead of you who call yourself true remnant church while living in the open sin. sin. Yes. I give a call. First Corinthians 9.10 He that proweth he should prow in hope and that he that thresheth he in hope should be partaker of this hope. This is just the beginning. We have about 290 sermons to go through in English. And I will try my best, if possible, in every week, four or five until we reach the Swahili speakers, because they are ahead of us. If you have been touched by this message, send your charity or tithe to CRDB Bank. The name of our account is SDRR. Account number is that which is on your screen. Of course. M Pesa, Airtelimane, Tigo Pesa. That which appears on the screen. Mm -hmm. We will continue after, I think today is Sunday. Of course. Uh, Tuesday is when we can continue. Please, please subscribe to our channel because 
English people have been complaining that I have forgotten them. Others called me from Kenya. Yes, you are presenting these messages in Swahili, but we are smart in English, so we want to hear them in English. Mm -hmm. But time and my tight schedule sometimes doesn't allow me. But because of their request, I have decided to do that so that even if these Ugandans, these Kenyans, please forgive me my English, me I'm a Swahili speaker. This English, I just learned it in the classroom to pass the examination. Let us need for prayer. Thank you. Let us pray. Mighty Father and God who art in heaven, we thank you for this wonderful time when we have managed to stream one sermon and we hope to continue with almost 200 plus sermons god we know that the devil is working day and night and he doesn't want this message to come to the people help us that we may be able to stream every time we want it lord help the people who want to learn to understand this message and decide for this the time to decide we have but a very short time Give us your Holy Spirit triple portions so that we can preach the messages of Elijah and deliver those messages so that people will be moved to know that that time has come when you want to usher in your kingdom. Amen. For we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.